one. It's the Puff and Step Podcast. Okay, friends, we're back for another day of fun. Puff and Steph with you. Hey, girl, hey. Hey. What's up with you? Not much to report. Nothing exciting. Really? Have you left your house? Um, To get groceries, which is like the most exciting day of the week. Sure. And um, walking the dogs, going for a run. That's about it. Well, I have a couple of things to talk about. One, um, I ordered something, and I'm not sure why, but I have a breathalyzer. <laughs> you, see, you see this thing? Yes. Um, I was playing with it a little bit. I, did, I, I haven't been really drinking a lot, but I thought that maybe, I don't know. I was like, I'll buy this for the show. And like I, I don't know what we would necessarily do with it. It's cool because it has like... The little mouthpieces that come out, and I and they came with like ten mouthpieces. So obviously, we could use this together without sharing a mouthpiece. Good because yeah, Corona, you know. Corona, and just you know, even if it wasn't for Corona, you know, just trying to be sanitary. All right, I'm gonna do it right now. Let's do see. you have to blow into it like that? Kind of. Okay, get a zero. I'm not drunk. I've had Sober. No, I've had nothing to drink for days actually. So yeah, I'm boring. But Sober. but we know it works. I haven't anything to drink and I blew a zero. That'll be fun to use. Like we can like have a drink and then try it and then have two drinks and then try it. That'll be interesting. Steph's, Steph's trying to get drink, drink, drunk. Anyway, <laughs> um beyond that, let's talk about tomorrow a little bit. Tomorrow I am going to be doing my second ever ever decom review yes i'll be um reviewing a disney channel original movie last time i did motocross it was amazing how how it got snubbed in the oscars i'll i'll never know it's kind uh, of disgraceful i know yeah so what am i doing this time around you're gonna do smart house so smart house is like this house from the future that just does everything you could imagine it's such a cool movie. It just brings back all the feels from my childhood. Okay. All right. So get ready tomorrow for the second ever uh, decom review here on the Puff and Stuff podcast. I think you're going to like this one because you're into like all the technology and the smart stuff. So I think that you might actually be interested in it because you're like, what else can this house do? So I think you might is like that, it. Is that how I'm going to be? <laughs> oh, my Lord. What? else can this house do <laughs> gee golly willikers this is one smart house i think you might you really might find yourself interested but you won't admit it gosh darn it i wish i lived in such a smart house that house is intelligent <laughs> all right so we, we talked a little bit about dreams and interpreting dreams and you said you used to date a guy who was all about interpreting dreams oh my gosh he would get mad at me depending on the dreams i had <laughs> um well, we have what coronavirus dreams meet, mean. Oh. Yeah. So let's let's look at these. This is from the Huffington Post. Dream experts were asked some common dream what some common dreams mean according or like in regard to coronavirus. Dreams about public gatherings. This suggests the dreamer is preoccupied with how COVID nineteen will affect people en masse. Uh, if in the dream you are not wearing pants or are naked, it means you feel vulnerable. Oh, okay. that makes sense. All right. Missing snacks or looking for food. This could be a nightmare Steph has. Uh, these dreams are related to feelings of being deprived, depleted, or unrewarded. Have you ever had coronavirus dreams about not having enough food? Um, I don't think so, actually. Not that I remember. How about this one? A mysterious figure. This means the virus has taken visible form in your mind. So I, I'm confused. Like, you're dreaming about coronavirus and then a mysterious figure shows up? Or maybe the mysterious figure is called coronavirus or COVID? I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Return to childhood. You're looking for a solution to your anxiety by going back to childhood. It gives you feelings of being cocooned by your parents. Do you have a lot of dreams where you're a kid again? 
Um, I have some, but not a lot. I wish I had more, actually, because when I do have them, it's really comforting and fun. Yeah, because you're being cocooned by your parents. <laughs> and survivalist dreams or pop culture inspired dreams. Your dream that you're in a TV show like The Walking Dead or The Hunger Games. Your dreams are playing out survival scenarios in a bid to maintain hope, uh, preparedness, and stability. Have you had any of these dreams since uh, the whole lockdown has, has occurred? Um, on a consistent basis, the last one you said, I keep dreaming about Desperate Housewives <laughs> because my mom and I have been watching a lot of it. And I'm like, this is bad. Like, I'm obsessed. I literally get so excited to watch it. And then I, like, dream about the characters. It's a problem. <laughs> it's not it's necessarily Walking Dead or Hunger Games or being a survivalist. You're desperate housewives. But yeah. it's you dream you're in a TV show. Um, so you dream about being on the show or in living in the neighborhood? Uh, no, it's just, like, I'm watch. Like, it's just the characters. It's not oh. like I'm actually there. So you're dreaming about, like, you're dreaming an episode. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's weird. That's really Yeah, weird. what about you? I don't think I've had any of these dreams, which kind of stinks. I'd like to have the survivalist dream. Um, have I had a dream about a public gathering? I might have had a DJ wedding dream. Probably. I, I guess that counts. Uh, but that's about it. I haven't. I don't. I. I don't have any dreams where I'm a kid. Really, the only the fur the furthest back I go is usually college. And you ever have that college dream where you have a final exam for a class that you've never taken? Yes. Yeah, that's the I dream. I passed it. I passed the final. Congratulations! I'm Thank you. So proud of you. You're so strong. Uh, you'll get a kick out of this because a this is what you went to college for, and b you have a lot of friends in the business. Have you heard about the California TV reporter that did the report from her bathroom? Yes. For those of you who don't know, Melinda Mez, Sacramento's KRCA Channel 3, recorded herself cutting her bangs for a story about home hairstyling during the coronavirus quarantine. Sure, it's human interest. Everyone's go everyone goes through this. You know, how do you maintain your hair or whatever? Um, she wasn't aware her camera captured a reflection in the mirror behind her of her husband naked, butt naked in the shower. Everything. I think this is so ridiculous. How would you not know that he was in the same room as you naked in the shower? Like, how big is their bathroom? <laughs> it like goes back to Elf. I didn't know you were naked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Like... I, I don't know. The whole thing is obviously like comical, but it almost just annoys me because I'm just like, how did you not know? Right. Like you didn't hear the shower. You didn't know that he was in there. Well, I just, just from my personal experience, right? I have the studio up in my attic. The wife has a workspace, you know, 10 feet away from, you know, all this, all this stuff, the table and the microphones, and the cameras and the lights and everything. And for the most part, when we're doing shows, she leaves the room. Every once in a while, we'll do a show and she'll be working on the computer or whatever. But I know she's in the room. And I she knows that I'm doing, you know, our thing. So, like, if she's listening to something, she'll turn it down or put head, you know, earbuds in or whatever, headphones. If you're doing a news report from your bathroom, don't you think you could be like, hey, honey... You know, can you take a shower either before or after I do this? Don't do it during. Like right. to me, plan to me it. would screw up everything. Why do you need to take a shower at the same moment that I'm doing this piece for the news? Right. And wouldn't that have been communicated? Like, hey, I have a live shot at five. I'm going to do it in the bathroom. Just so you know, can you not be naked in there while I'm doing it? Like, do these people not speak to each other? I'm just... <laughs> baffled i need to know more <laughs> yeah it, it it sparked uh some outrage but also some excitement so i mean we're that was in where was it sacramento and we're talking about all the way across the country so you know we didn't we never even knew this tv station existed until now that's true maybe they did it on purpose to get attention possible who knows like we're not gonna get fined they got you know the government's got bigger fish to fry right now Coming up in just a couple of minutes, the advice column is back. Who needs help? It's the Puff and Steph podcast. 
Do your kids lose their house keys? Do you hide a key near your front door for friends, relatives, the cleaning lady, or pet sitter? Do you need a better way to secure your home? Let ITD Systems and Security solve all your problems. ITD has the knowledge and experience to install smart home features like smart locks, motion sensors, indoor and outdoor cameras, and wireless keypads that control everything. Plus, you can turn off lights, lock doors, and view any of your cameras right from your cell phone or tablet. Turn your house into a future house and add peace of mind to your life with ITD Systems and Security. To find out more, visit ITDSSI.com. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. CBD American Shaman of PA wants you to know that even though their stores can't be open right now, they're still there for you and for all of your CBD product needs. Make these tough times more manageable with CBD American Shaman of PA. Their products can be shipped right to your door and they may help relieve your pain, your anxiety, and your sleeping troubles. Visit HempIsHealth.com for the full selection of the most powerful CBD products available. That's HempIsHealth.com for fast, easy online ordering now back to the puff and steph podcast we do it every single thursday the puff and steph advice column i love the fact that we've gone i want to say a month of real legitimate um people who want advice from us if you if you if you guys have anything that you need us to solve the problem that we could help you with Please hit us up. Do it on our uh, Puff and Stuff Facebook page. You can also hit me up, Puff, at puffandstuff.com. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to help people. And for some reason, you guys are letting us. So it seems like the last few weeks have all been coronavirus related. This is no exception. We're helping out Trisha. Um, that could be her real name. That's how she signed it. I don't know. Email. I. It, it wasn't like Trisha at gmail.com. So I don't, I don't know. We'll just say Trisha. I know you're always worried about whether or not these people are anonymous. Right. I just want to make sure, you know. Okay. Hey, Puff and Steph. Where'd you go? I'm right here. I just, uh, <laughs> I just walked away. I'm like, oh, she's bored. Okay. All right. Hey, <laughs> Puff and Steph. I started seeing a guy right before the stay at home order was given. We had been seeing each other for about a month, went on just a few dates, and I thought things were going really well. In the beginning, we still saw each other because we thought we're definitely less than a party of 10. Uh, And I had not been to his house before the order and the social distancing thing was a thing. And that, and I went to his house after, and it actually moved our relationship along quicker, if you know what I mean. So I think what she means is maybe she hooked up with him quicker than she normally would yes that's what i'm guessing yeah okay sometimes you gotta spell things out girls all right i'm a simple (laughs) man all right well anyway we saw each other a few more times during the lockdown and just recently he's become more wary of spending time together he says things like we need to take this more serious and maybe we should follow the rules oh guy after steph's heart okay (laughs) Now, part of me respects him for trying to be responsible, but I know that he has had a party with his neighbors just this past weekend. What? Okay, that's messed up. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Oh. Got angry. Okay. So it's okay to hang out with three other people, but not me, question mark? At this point, I'm just trying to figure out if he's really trying to be responsible 
or is he using the pandemic to blow me off? I like this guy, and I haven't had good luck with men, so I don't want to fly off the handle if the situation doesn't call for it. Any advice would be appreciated. Trisha. Oh, Trisha, this is so hard. We just talked about this a couple weeks ago. People who had just started dating somebody and it's new, this is a really hard time. Right. So I look at it like this. His neighbors are in his life more than you. He's probably closer to his neighbors than you are. Maybe the party just kind of happened. I don't know how she knows. Either he told her, or maybe he posted something on social media. I don't really... She didn't explain how she knew that he was at a party. That that probably would have been a little... Uh, that probably would have been good if we knew that. That's what I was wondering. Because if he told her, then it's not like he's trying to hide it. Right. Um, I think that you could look at it a couple of ways. One, he is trying to be responsible. He's trying to be a rule follower. He's trying to, you know, be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. You know, all that stuff that you hear people say, um, or he already got what he wanted and he's blowing you off. Right. Which is probably in the back of her mind. And that sucks because it not be? it like, that's a crappy feeling. Yeah. It, it has to be in the back of your mind. Yeah. I mean, it, it is, like you said, well, he, he probably knows his neighbors more and he's closer to them, but it's still not an excuse. You're not supposed to be with anybody who you don't live with, regardless of how long you've known them or blah, 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 blah. So it frustrates me for her that he's right. like, I can't see you, but I can see these three people. Right. So like it, it really like I feel physically frustrated for her right now. <laughs> physically frustrated? Yeah, I do, because, like, if I was in that position, I would be so annoyed and, like, confused. And a lot of, not even just males, but people in general will say, um, don't, like, communicate their feelings well. So she probably doesn't know, like, what he's thinking and what he's feeling. It'd be different if he had maybe communicated better, like, I can't wait to, like, get together with you when this is all over. I think right. we could really go somewhere. That'd be different. You know, it's, it's one of those things where... You know, what do you tell her? Do you, do you, does she, should she confront him over this? She didn't say they weren't talking. She didn't say that he's ghosting her. So I'm assuming that they're still having some form of conversation. Right. So does she bring it up? Like, hey, you know, I really would like to see you and I don't think it's a big deal if it's just us two. You know, why are you hanging out? Why are you saying no to me, but hanging out with your neighbors? But here's the problem. When she says that, she can then come off as crazy. Yep. It's like, oh, this girl's obsessive. Yep, that, and that's where I was going to go. Uh, Are you really? Yeah. yeah. No, I was totally going to go there because you're right. And she's right to fear that because depending on how she words it, maybe he'll take it wrong. Or even if she words it in the best possible way she can, he still might feel that way. Who knows? Yep. A lot of it, like who knows who's he, who he's dated in the past that would make him think girls are crazy yep. or, or, or whatever. No, I, I get the fear. I totally understand the fear. But back to your point, communication is key. And I would rather have, like if, if I was on the situation, I would rather know and have a real conversation with him than sit there and worry and worry and worry and make myself sick over it. Right. Especially because this might go on for several more weeks. Yeah. You, you never know. Um, so I would say something like, hey, tell me if I'm wrong. Poke holes in my in my theory here. Hey, I kind of don't understand why you had a party with your friends, but you think it's not OK to see me. I really want to see you. I really think, you know, we have something. Um it kind of makes me upset. Do you say something like, I'm not trying to come off as a crazy girl here. I just, I'm, I'm a little like, I'm confused at what's going on. Like you don't want to come across as mad, but if you, if you relay your confusion, maybe it's better. Right. I think maybe to relay the confusion or maybe just kind of play dumb and just say like, Hey, you know, I saw that you're with Joe and Todd last night um, you know, have you changed your mind? Would you maybe want to get together despite this whole thing? We could do something low key, maybe just without having to like confront 
about that specific issue. She could just be like, did you change your mind? Like, would you want to get together? And that'll be more subtle. And I'm only saying that along with your option because I know how it feels to be worried about coming off as crazy. And it sucks that you have to worry about that because she's not crazy. She's completely valid. Well, she might be crazy. She only told us her side of the story. Who knows? She's not. You she's know, not crazy. She might. Trisha, you let us know if you're crazy. You crazy? She's not. Right. She just likes a guy and doesn't know what is going on in his head. And it's relatable. Well, it's it's tough, too, now with the coronavirus happening. Because yeah. could he be blowing you off? Yeah. Hundred percent. You could be getting blown off, girl. Could he just be a guy who happened to be out on his porch having a beer, and then his neighbors were out on porch, and they had like a porch party or something, and and you're taking it wrong? And could he just be completely innocent in all this? Yeah, but I think you have to ask him. No, you're right because it, it might not be what it looked like. Yeah. So if she could ask him and maybe get that explanation, that would be good. Although. I wish he would offer it up without her asking for it, but that's just me. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. He should. Communicate. All right. Um, so hopefully that helped a little bit, Trisha. Good luck. You guys have any uh, problems you want us to try to solve? Hit us up. Puff and Steph Facebook page or uh, Puff at PuffandStuff.com. Are we doing a disservice to our dogs? I'll tell you about it next. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Do your kids lose their house keys? Do you hide a key near your front door for friends, relatives, the cleaning lady, or pet sitter? Do you need a better way to secure your home? Let ITD Systems and Security solve all your problems. ITD has the knowledge and experience to install smart home features like smart locks, motion sensors, indoor and outdoor cameras, and wireless keypads that control everything. Plus, you can turn off lights, lock doors, and view any of your cameras right from your cell phone or tablet. Turn your house into a future house and add peace of mind to your life with ITD Systems and Security. To find out more, visit ITDSSI.com. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. CBD American Shaman of PA wants you to know that even though their stores can't be open right now, they're still there for you and for all of your CBD product needs. Make these tough times more manageable with CBD American Shaman of PA. Their products can be shipped right to your door and they may help relieve your pain, your anxiety, and your sleeping troubles. Visit hempishealth.com for the full selection of the most powerful CBD products available. That's hempishealth.com for fast, easy online ordering. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. I feel almost bad telling you this story, Steph. I'm going to... I'm going to. Okay, then don't. No, I'm going to. Because I want your take on it. But I know that it might also kind of make you sad a little bit. Why do you do this to me? Maybe I shouldn't just, maybe I just shouldn't preface stories like this anymore. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) According to research, people are making dogs stupider. What? No. An animal behavior researcher at Oregon State University says humans appear to have conditioned the animals to not think for themselves. Because we spoil them? (laughs) Well, the results of her study may explain why dogs so often seem to get tangled up in their leash or get their heads stuck in railings or inside boxes. In the experiment, the doctor gave 10 wolves, 10 pet dogs, and 10 shelter dogs, a clear box containing a piece of sausage. 
To get inside, the dogs needed to pull off the lid using a length of rope. They were presented with the puzzle both when a familiar human was present was present, and when a human was absent. They were given two minutes each to get inside the box. The results are crazy. Eight out of the ten wolves managed to solve the puzzle. Eight. Oh, they're so smart. Right? They managed to solve the puzzle, eat the snack. You want to know how the 20 dogs did? The, the 20, like, domesticated dogs? The, 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 the ones that are, you know, shelter dogs and the ones that are pet dogs? Do you, do you have a guess on how 20 of them did? Did four of them finish? No. Two. No. One. <laughs> One. Oh. One, one dog got it. We have domesticated these animals so much that they cannot live without us. They would have starved to death if their human was not there to get the sausage. You, you want the sausage treat? You want the sausage treat? <laughs> well, way to go, Sparky. At least one dog was representing. But honestly, they should be spoiled. Like, I would never want my dogs to have to know how to fend for themselves. I'd rather them be eating off my fork. It's not know? just fending for themselves. It's a lack of problem solving. That's the mm. problem. It's it's not just, you know, spoiling. They get treats and they get fed. And, you know, they're not talking necessarily about fending for themselves. They're just talking about straight problem solving. Like, we've all been there where, you know, you, you as a joke, you throw a blanket on your dog and then you watch your dog struggle to get the blanket <laughs> off. We've all done it. I love it. Right? We've all done it. Yep. But... You know, they're not very good at problem solving. Do you think, how many dogs have you, has your family had your whole life? Um, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven dogs in your family history. Would any of them be able to get that sausage? Um, yes. They are all very good babies <laughs> and they're Stop so smart. It. Stop <laughs> it right now. Okay, Listen, no. If you real. if you said one of them, I'd be like, okay, maybe. But you you think you think your family's going seven for seven? You guys think you're batting a thousand in smart okay. dogs? No, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Zoe under the bus. I love her more <laughs> than the world, but she's not the smartest per se. Okay. Um, Miley is smart and she loves food, so I think she would find a way to figure it out. Angel, our golden retriever. So smart, the smartest dog we've ever had. Um, and then Cooley, she was a golden retriever we had when I was younger. Also smart. So I'm going to say at least those three would figure it out. So at think, least. So you think three out of seven. Now, in this particular study, one out of 20 did it. <laughs> and you think three out of seven in your house. Yeah, because my dog, because it's different. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, see, I'm going to say, you know, thinking of Mugatu, thinking of Ronnie. Uh, I don't think either of them do it. Aw, Ronnie, Ronnie was so good. He could have figured he it out. He was good, but he wasn't, like, problem-solving smart. That dude, he didn't want to go into the bathroom. He didn't like tile flooring. Like, oh. like No, he was not, not going to make it in, in terms of problem-solving. Well, not liking tile flooring, that's just a preference. It doesn't make him not smart. <sighs> he wasn't a good problem-solver. We we would we bring treats into the bathroom to try to get him to come to the bathroom, and he would just sit on the bath the edge of the bathroom and whine. <laughs> yeah, he, he no, he just he's not a problem solver at all. So it's okay. I know the limitations of my pets. Right, you know, you get I, it. I'm not like someone who thinks like you ever meet a parent whose kid is like running in like like trying to climb up the slide or do something dumb on the playground. And they're like, my little Billy is so smart. Meanwhile, the kid's like running head first into the swing set. Like ha, 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 I'm having so much fun. Ha, 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 ha. You're like, yeah, your kid's super smart. That's how I think. That's how I feel you are with your dogs. Okay. No, that's completely not a good comparison. Of <laughs> my, no, my dogs really are so smart. They're the best babies. Okay. Time to stump Steph. Easy to stump her dogs, but is it easy to stump Steph? Here we yes, go. Yes, also yes. <laughs> According to a recent survey, almost 30% of adults admit they've done this to save time. What is this? 30% of adults admit they've done this to save time. Is this something you do in your morning routine? 
It could be, yeah. Skipped brushing your teeth? No. Skipped showering? No. Does it have to do with hygiene? Nope. They've done this to save time. Worn clothes from the day before? No, but you're getting closer. Does it have to do with clothing? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> is it something you shouldn't do? Like, is it like viewed as <laughs> you, gross? You should not do this. It's not a gross thing. You just shouldn't do it. Oh, slept in the clothes at night so that you can just no. get up and go in the morning. No, no, no. Guilty. It's it's more. I'm gonna give. It'll give it away if I say this hint. Um, it's not a gross thing. It's a safety issue. Safety. Maybe it is it like maybe it wouldn't sleep- give it away. <laughs> <laughs> is it like you sleep in a hoodie and the strings could suffocate you? <laughs> no, no, not even cl- no. No. Safety. What could be safety about your clothes? It's something around the neck? No. <laughs> no. Um Where, so you shouldn't do it. Well, oh God. Where shouldn't you be getting dressed? In your car. There we Ding. go. Ah, <laughs> uh, that gave it away. I've definitely done that before. I think we all have to to an extent. I've like put on a dress shirt or something like that when I'm dry. Like, right. Yeah, I haven't got like I didn't like run to my car in my boxers and put everything on or anything like that. Right. Uh, here we go. According to a recent survey, 30% of drivers don't know how to do this. What is this? And this is sad. <laughs> this is this is not changing your tire. This is not changing your oil. 30% of drivers don't know how to do this. Steph, I think you you should know how to do this. I'm using ho- their blinker. No, no. I'm hope it involves car maintenance. I hope that you know how to do this in the least. Spraying windshield wiper fluid on your windshield? S- what? Spraying? Yeah, windshield wiper fluid. Yeah, what a, just spraying it. Like using yeah. it using it while you're driving? Yeah. No, that's no, no. Don't give me your attitude. That wasn't a stupid answer. It's kind of, it's kind of stupid. Don't rub your face <laughs> like I'm so dumb and exhausting. Stop it. Oh, uh, all right. So, no, it is not <laughs> using your windshield washer fluid. Okay, would it surprise you if people didn't know how to do that? Do you know what world we live in? 30, it would surprise me if 30% didn't know how to do it. Uh, you, nothing surprises me. If you anymore. said 4%. <laughs> So it's maintenance. Right. You don't do it while the car is running. I mean, Getting gas. I mean, you can, but no, it's not good. You can do it while the car is running, but most people turn it off. <clears throat> One of your answers was, was close. Oh, but I thought my answers were so dumb. Oh, <laughs> that's so exhausting. <laughs> you, you can be exhausting, but one of your answers was close. Wait, which answer? I'm not telling you. Think about I said you- shield wiper fluid. You don't remember what you said? No, I don't remember the other answer because you got me all worked up acting like I'm an idiot. I can tell. All right, keep going. I don't remember the other answer I said. Using a blinker? No. Oh. Um, do I know how to do it? I hope so. I, Is I'm, it, it's not jumping a car? Nope. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I believe you're in the 70% of people that know how to do this. Or at least you could. If Pop you your hood. Pop, n- no, but that's, let's just say that's part of it. Looking at your, where's my engine? Knowing where the engine is. <laughs> Everyone should at least know where their engine is. That's not, the, I know. that's not the correct answer. Knowing how to open the gas cask, uh, the gate, the, the, the gas casket thing. No, just the knowing, knowing, gas knowing gas. how to open your, your gas tank. Yes. No, that's not it. <laughs> Can you give me another hint? Um, you think about the uh, putting their windows down. <laughs> no, no, thirty percent don't know how to put their windows down. All right, no. I don't know. Okay, so it involves opening your hood. Okay, that's part of the process of this thing. 
Now think about what other things you've said and what is under your hood. Is it just like looking at the oil? No, but that's actually a decent answer. Oh, Surpri- are we going to be nice now? <laughs> Surpri- surprisingly, that's a decent answer. <laughs> so it's something to do with the engine block. <laughs> under the hood. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much stuff under I there. Know, I, I know, know. I know. But they, all right. I don't know most of and it. If, okay. So I'm, I'm, if you don't, I'm going to give you one more guess. I'm going to give you every hint I could think of without giving it away. Okay. It involves opening your hood, you know, lifting the hood, looking at what's inside. Okay. Think about what's inside. It also involves something you've already said. Okay. It's really easy. Oh, is it is it using that stick that holds the hood up while you open it? No. <laughs> oh, dang All right, it. that's time to tell you. <laughs> Fill your windshield wiper fluid. Oh, I was so close. You acted like my answer was so stupid. <laughs> and that, and I, 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 I acted no, like, no. whoa, I acted like that because you were like, <laughs> you were so close. This is why it was exhausting because you were so unbelievably close to the right answer, but your answer just seemed so like ridiculous. Like it seemed, it seemed like everybody would know how to do that, but you were like this close to the right answer. You know what I mean? That's why I was like, Oh, like she's so close. It was, it wasn't picking on you as much as it was like, you're like an inch away. Oh, I thought you were just like, oh, you're so dumb. Why would you say that? No, I didn't think you were dumb. I thought it was funny. But I couldn't express my feelings because that would have given it away. True. Okay, yeah. Because you could have just told me that I was close instead of making me feel dumb and going through I did tell you you were close. Not right after I said that. (laughs) I know, because I couldn't control myself. It was involuntary. Like, ah, okay. Jeez. Okay. Take everything so personal. Gosh. Like a crazy girl. All right. Um, no, just kidding. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you uh, tomorrow as I do my next DCOM review. Smart House, you're on deck. Steph thinks I'm going to like it because I like technology. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll see if that's the case. It's the Puffin Steph Podcast. <laughs>